image. Hello, good evening, everyone. A very warm welcome to all. Once again, I am Umar Salma, Corvalente, Head of Campus Ambassador in IGP. It is wonderful evening. I am really thankful who always joined with us and also the new participants. First, I want to give a little description about IGP. IGP is a non-profit institution. Uh, we work for students, job seeker, job holder, and learner also uh, for providing holistic uh, social work and education. I am cordially welcoming you all. Today, our so let's start our program. Today, our 80. So uh, today our AK webinar topic on teaching free calculus with two speakers, Isadhani Tubera and Dr. Leonides E. Bula Layo. So I would like to introduce our first speaker. Hello. Good afternoon. Good evening to everyone. This is Isagani Tubera. I studied civil engineering at Firestone University. I finished my master's degree in teaching mathematics at St. Peter's University, New Jersey, United States of America. I earned my certificate as an instructor for the project Lead the Way in line with the STEM, the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. I'm also an AP Calculus reader by the ETS, the college board. I've been teaching mathematics for 33 years. I'm actually a classroom, a simple classroom teacher teaching mathematics. Symbols and numbers fascinate me. Please give a warm welcome to our Isagani Tobera sir. Hello, sir. Oh, yes. Hello. Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you so much. Yeah, this is my first time to be broadcast live all over the world. So I'm excited. <laughs> sir, now it's just it's yours. All right. Thank you so much. So once again, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all the people of the world. This is Isigani Tubera. So what I am going to discuss to you is a is the the tangent in relation to limits. What is that about? I think what is important here first is we need to know the vocabulary of the word. What is tangent? What is aligned? What is limits? Those things are important. And also in addition to that we will also be knowing the secant line, the equation of the line, the slope formula. You need to understand that. What is the meaning of slope? It is the ratio of the rise over run. And also the function, the coordinates, for example, of a point, the domain, the range. How is that so? And most often, the uh, if it is only being discussed, it's not really to understand. We need to visualize that example. So before we proceed to the illustration, I want you to first recall, recall the topic, especially in the slope, the slope wherein the slope is equal to the ratio of the rise over run and also the equation of a line in terms of what? Y equal to mx plus b. I don't know if you still remember that. Or it could also be ax plus by plus c equal to zero. And the equation of a function. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Sorry for interruption. Yes. Sir, please share your screen first. Oh, so it's not. Oh. Okay, so oh, share screen. Is it shared now? It's not yet? No, still not. All right. Is that, is yeah. that okay? 
Yeah. All right. Thank you. Your entire screen. Now you have to okay. back your. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. So, so you have I... to back your board now. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. So I'm going to share my yeah. screen. All right. Is that okay now? Yes, I know absolutely. Okay. Thank you. So before we start with the uh, relationship of tangent, okay? So this is our topic is tangent, okay? Tangent in relation. To limits. Okay, so when we start with that, okay, when we start with that, you need to understand what is the meaning of this symbol M. So this M stands for what? That is it stands for the slope. And what is the slope? It is equal to the ratio of what? Of rise over run. It comes from a right triangle. It comes from a right triangle, wherein this is the rise and this is the run. Of course, this is a 90 degree angle. So if that's the case now, so that means that we can also put this rise into what? This is the change in Y and also this is now the change in X. So instead of using rise and run, we could also use delta y over delta x now these are important what else you should also know how to plot your what you plot your point so this point has no meaning for example point p if you're not going to put that in the coordinates coordinate plane the x and y plane so now when you have established your x and y plane now you can put now the location of this point this point P is X and Y, okay? So what's the meaning of that? So that means from the point of origin up to here, that is X and this one now is your Y. So this is your Y, okay? So those are the things that you need to know. What else for the equation of the line, the tangent? So what is the tangent? So for a tangent line, so remember y is equal to what? y equal to mx plus b, or you should know ax. ax plus what? Plus, plus by plus c equal to zero. Now this a here, this m here, that is important because we are going to, to have that, okay? Now what else? Okay, so in in relationship to in relation to what is a tangent line? What is a tangent line? Now a tangent line line, if I'm going to draw a parabola here, if I'm going to draw a parabola, oh wait, no, I change the color into this one. If I'm going to draw a parabola like this. Okay, suppose this is f of x, which is also equal to y, and that is equal to x squared. This is the point of origin. And now what is the tangent? A tangent is a what? What is a tangent line? A tangent line is like this. It is a line drawn, okay, drawn, okay, drawn that touches only one point, only one point. Okay, only one point. Where is that one point? I'll change this. I'll choose this, this one here. This one here, one point. You, you need, we need to know this. Okay, we need to know this thing. Okay, so that is the tangent line. It touches, it touches the f of x into one point. That's the meaning of tangent line. If you're going to put another two points for that, for example, here, another point Q, so that is no longer a tangent line. That would become a secant line, okay, secant line. Okay, so those are the things that you need, okay, the prerequisite. 
so that you'll understand the lesson for today. I want you to, uh, okay, I want you to look at this screen. Look at this screen, okay? So it has no meaning yet. It has no meaning. There is the equation of the parabola, which is y equal to x squared, y equal to x squared, and a point at 1 and 1. Okay, now, this is the problem. I want you to what? I want you to find the equation of the tangent line, okay? Passing through 1, 1, and 1. What is the equation of the tangent line? And also the normal, the normal line. How are we going to do that if your knowledge is only limited to a slope, right? How can you do that? So that means you need to establish another point. Another point where you can put here, for example, uh, another point, maybe at nine and three. Let's see that, okay? For example, nine and three. Okay, so nine, nine and three. Okay, that's nine and three there. Where is that nine and three? Oh, uh, it's, no, 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 it's three and nine. It's three and nine. Okay, oops. Three and nine. Where is that three and nine? There you are. Okay, so look at this. But this three and nine, if you put it there, three and nine, and then you connect these two points, it is not a tangent line. You cannot call this a tangent line. Look what will what will happen if I connect these two points. These two points would be equal to, okay, what is the equation of this line? So the equation of this line would be, okay, would be equal to, okay, look at that. Okay, no, it's, it's what? It's three. Okay, look at that. So look at this one here now. Is it a tangent line? No, it's not a tangent line. It is a secant line because it intersects at two points. I mean, uh, yes, it intersects. That's not a tangent line. What is a tangent line? Okay. So that means that is not the slope. It's not 4x minus 3. Okay. Of the tangent line. Okay, so our objective is to find, is to what? Is to find, okay, oops. Is to, is to find, okay? okay? Is to find for the tangent line, okay? So now, these, this line here, that is the tangent line, okay? That's the tangent line. Okay, and the green line is the secant line, okay? Again, our objective is to find for the equation of the tangent line. To find for the equation of the tangent line, we need to have, we need to have a slope. What is the slope? What is the slope at this point P here? We don't know that, and that is what we're going to achieve, okay? So now we're going to derive that. We are going to derive that equation okay all right i like to start with what i like to start with this okay i like to start with the x and y okay x and y i'm going to start with that okay and then i'm going to what i am going to put a point i'm going to put a point at the first quadrant okay i want to be in the first quadrant here this is the point Okay, that's the point. And this point, I will mark this, what? I'll mark this. Okay, I'll mark this X and Y. Okay, I'll put P, X, that's, that's a coordinate, okay? And, and I'll add, what? I'll add, okay, I'll add, Okay, I'll add a parabolic 
curve. Okay, I'll add a parabolic curve. Oops. Okay, uh, the origin is okay, parabolic curve. Okay, I hope this one is closer to it. It's a parabola. Okay, it's a parabola with x squared. That is okay. All right, so I hope this one is looks okay. A parabolic. Okay, so oops. All right, so this is now equal to this is f of x equal to x squared. Okay, and we are what we're con our concern is to find for the tangent line. Where is the tangent line? This is our concern. It's the tangent line here. Okay, that's the, this is the tangent line. Okay, maybe, all right, so. Okay, I'll, uh, the tangent line here. Okay, just for, uh, okay, maybe I'll put this, okay, I just, uh, just uh, okay. I'll put the point here so that it's better if I point, put the point here. Okay, that's P, X, and Y, okay? And I'll draw the tangent line. This is the tangent line we're looking for. This is the tangent line we're looking for. I'm just going to exaggerate it, okay? So this is the point, okay? This is the tangent line we're looking for. There you are, okay? Okay, so this is the tangent line, tangent line we are looking for. What is the equation of that line? Y equal to mx plus b. All right, so your knowledge is only limited to what? Your knowledge is only limited to slope, like m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x minus x sub 1. But this can be resolved into what? Delta y over delta x. Now, where is other point? So since it, your, your knowledge is only limited to slope, we can put another point here, okay? And we call this point Q, okay? Point Q. So if that is point Q, so therefore, look what happened. So this is your, this is your, so this, if this is your x, so from here is your x, okay? That is your x here. That's your x. So therefore, this becomes here your f of x, okay? So this p could also be written as p x, and this is also p of x, okay? Now, consider also this point q. What is the coordinate of this point q? What's the coordinate of point Q? So point Q here, look, if I also drop a line here perpendicular to, perpendicular to the x-axis, so therefore, from here up to here, there is an increment. There is an increment of x, which is delta x. An increment means an increase of x because from here up to this point is x and up to here is an increment of delta x, okay? So I'm just going to isolate some parts here. So look what will I do, okay? So this is now the triangle, okay? This is the triangle. Of course, it's a 90 degree angle there. So therefore, x now, look at this. This is, if this is x delta x, so therefore this is now, this is now delta x, okay? So, if that's the case for this is point, this is point P, this is point Q, what is the coordinate of point Q? The coordinate of point Q, you start from X and that will be X plus what? Plus delta X. And therefore, this is also the function of X plus delta X, meaning this is F of X plus delta X. Okay? And therefore, if that's the case, if that's the case, so 
what is now your delta y? So your delta y, of course, is the difference between your, your the coordinates of the q for the y. So this is now f of what? x plus delta x. Okay? So how are you going to do with that? Okay? So this is now x. So for the delta y, this will be f, x plus delta x minus f of x. Obviously, your delta x would be what? Your delta x would be f, okay, would be, would be, uh, would be, would be x plus delta x and then minus what? Minus the uh, delta x minus the x minus x, okay? All right, so you need this information, okay? So the slope of a secant, so this is the secant line. You see this one here? This is the secant line. This is the secant line from there you are, okay? The two points, okay? The two points, that is the secant line. That is the second line. I'm going to change the color here and make it bright. This one here. This is your second line. Okay. This is your second line. So this is your second line. Okay. So, what is now the slope of the secant line? So, therefore, the slope of a secant line, I'm going to erase this, okay? I'm going to erase this. So, therefore, M. M stands for slope, and this is now the secant, okay? So, since it is the ratio of rise over run, that can be also resolved into delta Y over delta X. But what is delta y? Delta y is equal to f of what? x plus delta x, okay? Minus f of x. And this one will cancel. So therefore, cancel. So therefore, this is now equal to delta x. Okay. Now you may ask, what is the relationship of the secant line? Uh, Mr. Tamara, why are we getting the, the slope of secant line? We're not concerned about that. We are concerned about the slope of a tangent line so that we will be able to get the equation of the tangent line if we know the slope at x equal to 1, at x equal to 1. Yes, you're right, okay? Now, the relationship of this, okay, of this Q, point Q to point P is, look what would happen, okay? Look what would happen if a point Q will go closer and closer and closer to point P. What do you think would happen? Okay. Think about that. When point Q comes closer and closer and closer to point Q. So therefore, so therefore, the delta X, okay, the delta X, this is, this is zero, okay, zero. Okay, so delta X. If delta x is going closer, oh, closer and closer, this is point Q, getting closer and closer and closer and closer to point Q. So also the delta x approaching zero. Up to the point that they, this is point P, okay, point P, I'm just exaggerating, and this is the point Q, okay? That is, this is point Q. Okay, so look at this one here. You see that? That's the line, okay? That's the, there's a line there. They're very, very close, but not, not touching, okay? Not, not touching to one another. They just very, very close. So that is what you call the limit, okay? That is what you call the limit as X approaches zero. Okay, so therefore, if this is the slope of the secant line, if this is the slope of the secant line, what is now the slope of a tangent line? Okay, so therefore, the slope m of the tangent, okay, tangent of 
tangent line is equal to what? Okay, is equal to what? Is equal to the slope of a secant line. What is the slope of a secant line? That is equal to f x plus what? Delta x minus f delta x. I mean f of x and then divide this by delta x but not enough Th they look the same right they look the same however the slope of the tangent line is you need to put there the limit okay when the limit as delta x approaches zero that is actually now the slope of the tangent line there okay so that is what it meant of the slope of the tangent line okay so now we are going to ap apply now this this uh, this derived formula this equation okay in our problem okay we need to find for the equation of the tangent line touching at one and one okay all right so remember this equation tangent so now we already have established that okay so i'm going to erase this okay erase this okay erase that okay so now let's 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 recall our given what is f of x f of x is equal to x squared Okay, so what is now function of x plus delta x? What is that? That means you need to assign this x plus delta x to x. So this is what you're going to do. Replace x, okay? The x becomes what? The x becomes, okay? Becomes x plus delta x. So assign it here, plug this in, x plus what? Plus delta x squared. Okay, so what would that be? So this is a binomial, a okay? binomial, the square of binomial. So if it is a square of binomial, what, what does it say? It means you square the first term. This is the first term. You square that, okay? And then twice the product. What's the product of x times delta x? That would be what? Two. This will be two. two. This is two x plus delta x okay i'm going to put a line here that means they are together okay and then plus what plus delta square okay all right so now we're looking for the what we're looking for the slope of the tangent line the tl okay what's the formula again it is f this is now x plus what delta x okay and then minus f of x all over delta x but do not forget something do not forget the word what limit okay do not forget the word limit as delta x approaches zero and that is now the slope of the tangent line okay so now let's plug in but by the way for some for some this x plus x plus delta x for some some of my students they don't know how to use the square of binomial, you can just do this one here, x plus what? Delta x times, times x plus delta x, like that, okay? And then you distribute this, multiply this together, like this and that one there, okay? So you can do that. So that would be what? That would be x squared plus x plus x delta x plus x delta x and then plus delta square, okay? So that's what it is. So it becomes what x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared. Okay. For some who don't know the square of binomial. Okay. So now let's plug in. Okay. So therefore, this, this now becomes what? So m. So equation of the tangent tangent line would be would be what? X squared plus 2x delta x minus 
delta x is square. Okay, minus what? What is f of x? That is equal to x squared. And therefore, this is now what? This is delta x, okay? As what? Limit, okay? This is now, again, limit. So, tangent line is the limit as delta x approaches zero, okay? So, therefore, look what happened. Look what happened to look what happened to x squared. This x squared will be what? This x squared will be will be cancel. It will be cancel. And then you are left with what? You are left with mel. Slope of the tangent line is equal to okay, limit. Limit of delta x zero. So now you have what? Now you have 2x delta x okay minus delta x square all over all over delta x okay so you can factor this okay you can factor factor the delta x so limit limit as delta x approaches zero you can factor the delta x to what you can do this one now 2x and then what minus okay is it uh Oh, this is plus, okay, this is plus. This is plus delta x, okay? Plus, okay, plus delta x, okay? This is now plus delta x, okay? So, and then divide this by delta x, and look what happened. This delta x will be canceled, will be canceled, okay? So, I'm going to erase this so that we have some room okay so finally so finally what we have now is what the slope of the tangent line therefore is equal to 2x okay so since we're looking so since since the given point is one and one okay one and one that's a given point so we can say that the what the 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 slope of the tangent line when this is the x and y so this is x and y okay so that means x is equal to what x is equal to one so therefore what happened here is this is now equal to two times what one so therefore m tangent line is equal to two okay that's the slope so now if you want the equation the equation of a linear function of a line you need to know what y equal to what mx what mx plus b mx plus b okay and a point one in the one so now you have the slope so you have what y is equal to two okay x plus b and since it is one and one you can do one equal to what two times one plus b so therefore b is equal to negative one and if you're going to write now the equation of the tangent line the equation of the tangent line, you would just say y is equal to what? Okay. Therefore, y is equal to what? It's equal to 2x minus 1. That is now the equation of the tangent line. When can we verify that? Okay, let's. So, how, where can we verify? So, let's verify that one now. Okay. All right. So, there you are. Look at this. Okay. Is that the equation of the tangent line? So look at this. This is this is one and one. That's one and one. Okay. So what is the equation of that? Okay. I'll start with. Okay. So maybe I'll erase everything first. Okay. I'll. Okay. So let's see. Okay. So let's start. Okay. So the decimal graph. Let's start. Let's start the graph from scratch so that you would know how to use this, okay? So this is no reverse contrast. Okay, now, where did we start before? We start with y equal to what? We start with, with y equal to, with y equal to x square. Okay, we equal to x square. We, start, we started with that, right? And then we also put the point. And what's the point? The point is the point is one, okay, comma one, 
There you are, okay? And our objective is to look for the equation of the tangent line. Okay, so now we're trying to verify if we're correct, right? So what is the equation of the tangent line we have achieved? We achieve that y is equal to what? Y is equal to 2x and then minus what? Minus, oops, I put 3. It should be 2x. Let's see if that's correct. That's 2. Then uh, look at that. You see? So it's correct. So is it tangent? Is it only one point? You can verify. You can verify. Look at that. You can verify that it is on the only one point. You see that? Mm. It's only one point. It's almost, see that? That is only one point. As you can see, further and further, it's only one point there. That is now the equation of the line. Okay? So now, where is that? <clears throat> so how about the normal line? Okay? What about the normal line? What is the equation of the normal line? When, when x is equal, when the slope is the negative reciprocal of 2. What, it, what about that, okay? So, okay. So, you see that? It's 2x minus 1. It's correct, okay? Now, and this, this equation, this equation is very, very important, okay? Very, very important. That is the equation of the tangent line, the slope of a tangent line, okay? when the delta x approaches to zero and that is what you call the limit the limit so so that means the point q the point q is a moving moving point approaching point p and as as delta x approaches to zero so that means that the slope the, the second slope okay the slope of a second line becomes equal to the slope of the tangent line only at a certain point because because in a parabola the different position of x also gives you a thousand a thousand slope an infinite number of slopes okay so now what about the normal line okay what about the normal line Let's find the normal line. What about that? Okay. You know that the, okay. So to get the, so normal. So normal means perpendicular. Normal line. Okay. So that means line one is perpendicular to line two. When the slope, when M1, okay, multiplied by M2, their product of their slope is, negative 1. So if m1, for example, is 2, so therefore the reciprocal there, the negative reciprocal is negative 1 half, so that would be 1. So this is the slope. This is the slope we're looking for now. It's negative 1 half to make, a, to, make, to make the line perpendicular to the tangent line. So going back again to y is equal to what? Going back again to mx plus b. So when at what point? At x y at 1 and 1, okay? So therefore, your y is 1. Your slope, instead of 2, you put negative 1 half, and then that's 1, and then plus b. So therefore, what is b now? So it becomes 2 over 2, and then plus what? Plus 1 half. So therefore, b is equal to 3 over 2, or b is equal to 1 and a half. So therefore, y is equal to what? negative one half plus plus what plus one and a half so this is now the equation of the normal line okay or you call that perpendicular line let's try that okay let's try that equation okay okay so where is that okay so we put y equal to so y equal to, instead of m equal to 2, 
we put here now negative, okay? So this is negative, okay? This is, where's the negative sign here? So this is minus, okay? Minus, okay, equal. I put equal sign first. Put equal sign and then uh, negative. Okay. Minus, okay, one, divide this by two, okay? And then x variable x and then is it plus yes it is plus plus what plus three over two there you are okay see that mm. look it's also touching this point okay that is also touching that point there all right Okay, so y equal to negative one half x plus three over two. This is now the normal line, and the the pink is the tangent line. Okay, how now? So the first thing to do is to find the slope of a tangent line. What formula? The slope is equal to what? Is equal to the limit. Okay, the limit of what? The limit of the function of x plus delta x minus f of x divided by delta x as delta x approaches zero, okay? So when point Q, when the second point approach at point P, very, very close to one another, almost as if almost overlapping, so that becomes the slope of a tangent, okay? So now, let us now apply apply this derived formula to, to another problem, okay? So suppose, let's have this equation. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so for example, you have this given, okay? This is given. Okay, let us have this example. The example, for example, is x squared plus 3x, okay? So we have f of x, f of x is equal to 3x squared. Oh, no, no, it's 3, just x squared. x squared plus what? Plus 3x, okay? Now, and then find the slope, okay? Find the slope, okay, of the tangent line, okay? So the first thing is what? It is, is find the slope, okay? Find the slope, okay, of the tangent line. Of the tangent line, okay? At what point, okay, at x, equal to negative 2. So at x equal to negative 2. Okay, so what are we going to do with this? Okay, so first let's do that letter A. So write the formula is m equal to the tangent line is equal to limit, okay? Limit as delta x approaches what? Approaches 0. And what is that? That is f of uh, x plus delta x minus f of x, divide this by, by delta x, okay? So what are you going to do with this is you do this f of x. So this is f of x, we have that. f of x is equal to x squared plus 3x, okay? What is now f of x plus delta x? So you assign this like this, x plus Delta x squared plus 3 times x plus delta x, okay? So following the square of binomial x plus delta x, okay, would be, this would be, okay, so x plus, so this would be x squared plus uh, 2x delta x plus delta x squared plus uh, 3x plus 3 delta x, okay? So now apply that. So what would happen with this one? So m tl is equal to 
x square plus a 2x delta x plus delta x square minus a plus plus a 3x plus a 3 a 3 3 delta x and then minus what is the equation minus x square oops Okay, minus what? Minus x per minus what? Minus 3x. All over what? All over, all over delta x. Now, don't forget the limit, okay? This has to have a limit as delta x approaches zero. So what can we cancel? We can cancel what? We can cancel this. We can cancel the x square. We can cancel the x square here. This is 3x. We can cancel that, okay? So now what is left? What is remaining? So therefore, this becomes 2x. Okay, I can factor what? I can factor the, the delta x. So look what happened. I can factor delta x and this becomes what? This becomes delta x. Uh, uh, oh, no, no. This is 2x. So this is uh, 2x. Okay, plus... Uh, Delta X, Delta X, and then plus what? Well, plus 3. Okay, all over what? All over Delta X, uh, limit as Delta X approaches 0. So this one now will cancel. Okay, so now you are left with limit. Okay, limit of what? 2X, 2X plus 3, uh, plus Delta X plus 3, and as Delta X approaches 0. So when... When delta x approaches zero, it doesn't mean it is zero. It approaches zero. So that means that approaches to zero. So now you have what? Now you have the slope m tangent l is equal to is equal to 2x or equal to 2x plus 3. So this is now 2x plus 3. Okay, at what point? Negative 2. Okay, at x equal to negative 2. So therefore, m tangent, the slope therefore is equal to 2 times negative 2 plus 3. So therefore, the slope tl is equal to, that would be negative 1. And that is the slope at that point. Okay, so again, what is important is you have derived this formula. You have derived this formula. That's very, very important. Okay. That is very, very important. Okay. All right. I derive it from raw, from nothing. And then you have come about with that, with that, with that formula. Okay. You have derived that. From secant, from secant line, the tangent line, as X approaches point P. Okay. That that what happened okay so now if you're looking for the equation of the tangent line therefore i'm going to erase this one now okay i'm going to erase this one now so what is now the equation of the tangent line okay what is the equation of the tangent line so the equation of the tangent line when you have slope of negative one okay the negative one look what happened okay so, so therefore, uh, the tangent line, the equation of the tangent line, okay? So the equation of the tangent line is equal to what? Is equal to y equal to what? Mx plus, mx plus b. So at what point? This is at when x is equal to what? Negative 2. Okay? What is that? Okay? So therefore, uh, so now what is that? So... We can also use this, uh, what is f negative 2? That is negative 2 square plus 3 times negative 2. So f of negative 2, that is 4, and then minus 6. So therefore, f of negative 2, that is negative 2. So therefore, we have what? When x is negative 2, so therefore, y is also equal to negative 2. Okay, so therefore... So let's have that. 
So therefore, negative 2 equal to what? Equal to, what's the slope? Negative 1, negative 2, and then plus b. What's the intercept, therefore? So therefore, b is equal to 1. So therefore, y is equal to what? Negative x and then, and then plus 1. So that is now the equation of the tangent line, negative x plus 1. Okay, so let's plot it. Let's plot, it's 3x squared plus 3x. Let's use our decimal graph. Okay, let's use, I am going to delete this one now. Oops. Okay. All right, oops. Okay, so what, what is this? Okay, delete this. Okay, so what is the equation? It is y equal to y equal to 3x uh, squared. It is x squared plus what? It's x squared plus 3x. So 3x. Okay, so that's the that's the problem. Now, what is the equation? What is the line? What is the point? The point is negative 2. Uh, negative 2 and negative 2. There you are. Where is that thing? Where is that? You see that? It's along the line. Look at that. It's negative 2. What is the equation of our tangent line? The equation of our tangent line is y equal to what? y equal to equal to what? Equal to negative x. That's negative x, negative x and minus. Is it minus or plus? Uh, my, is it minus? Okay, what is the, it is, let's take again. Plus one. Is it plus one? It is, oh, it's minus, uh, is it plus one? Negative, negative two, negative two, it's positive two. Positive two, it's plus one. Okay, let's the. Uh, Let's see that. Okay, it's okay. Wait a minute. Okay, so minus. Wait a minute. Okay. All right. So what we're out. So negative two square is four. Four minus. Okay. It's so this is now. Okay. So negative x. Okay. Negative x plus one. Okay, plus one. Oops, wait a minute. What's happening here? Just it should it should be on this one here. Okay. Mm. X squared plus three x negative just so just for a while negative two square is four, and then uh, three times negative two is negative six. Negative six. Okay. All right, just a minute, okay, there's something. Okay, it's x squared, uh, when x is negative two. Did I put negative two? Oops. Negative two, so if that is negative two, positive two, negative two is negative three, negative two. So this is y equal to mx plus b. Our slope is the tangent line. The equation of a tangent line is Okay, the equation of the tangent line is negative, negative 2, negative 1. This is positive. Oh, this is positive 2. Oh, it's 0. Hello, sir. Oh, it's... Uh, just a minute. Hello, sir. Hello, yes? I have to move forward the second speaker. Oh, all right. Okay. So it's... Yeah, it's over time. All right, so <laughs> let's continue again, okay? Yeah, sir. All right, okay. I think who always uh, study or is the magnetic, you're an um, extraordinary person, and you are also. Um, I think uh, you were presenting a clear concept on the tangent line. Tangent line is a fairly important for calculus, 
and I think audience learned a lot from you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, welcome. Uh, it is time to move our ne next speaker. Our next speaker is Leonides E. Bulalayo. So, please, I would like to introduce our next speaker. Hi, I'm Leonides E. Bulalayo, a proud public school teacher. I finished my Bachelor of Science in Industrial Education, major in Mathematics at Central Zone Polytechnic College. I completed my Master of Science in Mathematics Education at Ateneo de Manila University with the help of DepEd Tanyan Key Scholarship Program and obtained my PhD in Mathematics at Nueva Ecija University of Science and Technology. I've been teaching mathematics for 22 years, and currently I am a master teacher too in Nueva Ecija High School, Senior High School, Junior High School, handling mathematics 10, pre-calculus, and basic calculus. I'm also an LOHB in NEUST, handling number theory and advanced computer education. Aside from math teaching, I'm also a mathematics book writer coach trainer, and a researcher. Thank you. Welcome to our ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. So, uh, um, good evening to uh, all of you, to all the participants. So, first of all, I would like to... Uh, express my gratitude to Dr. Nuesca and the IGP team for giving me this opportunity to uh, speak to you. And also, I would like to thank uh, the STO and uh, Nueva uh, personnel and uh, teachers uh, headed by our A uh, SDS, uh, Sir uh, Jesse Fair. So, uh, before I start, let me share... Uh, my screen. Is my slide visible now? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. So, our uh, slope of a tangent line to a curve is one of the uh, interesting topic in uh, basic uh, calculus. So, in teaching this uh, topic, I usually use a uh, multimedia presentation and uh, a geogebra for my students to uh, visualize uh, the abstract concept I would like to uh, discuss today. So for the objective of this uh, session, we have uh, to recall the slope of a line, uh, illustrate the slope of a tangent line to a curve, uh, find the slope of a tangent line to a curve, and find the equation of a tangent and normal line to a given curve. So just like what uh, Sir Tobera said, so it is uh, better for us uh, teachers to start uh, discussing the concept that the students are already know. So and uh, of course we have to uh, discuss also the prere prerequisite concept of uh, our topic uh, to be discussed. So uh, first we have to uh, recall again the slope of the line. So uh, we can define the slope of, of course, uh, by rise over run. And then, so this is a rise over run or the delta y over delta x. And of course, the formula that our students uh, already know 
is x y squared minus y sub 1 or y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So in recalling the, the slope of the line, so we have considered, we have to consider point P and point Q and the coordinates of point P is 610 and uh, Q is 33. So using the the formula so we have 10 so this is 10 minus 3 and uh, over 6 minus 3 so the slope of this given line is 7 over 3 so any two point or given any two points on the line so we can determine the slope okay so another uh concept that we need to recall is the secant and tangent. So the tangent line to a circle, so the students are uh, familiar with this, the tangent line to a circle, it is a line intersecting a circle at exactly one point. And a secant line to a circle is a line intersecting the circle at two points. So let us consider this figure. So this line L is tangent line for it intersects a circle at exactly one point and this line m is a secant line so for uh, it intersect a circle at two points point c and point b so what about uh, the secant and tangent to a curve so let us consider this curve at the red one and this point, so this point is, a tan uh, we got tangent line to this point. And here at the second point, so not the tangent line here. So what does it mean? So let us consider the graph, a curve or the graph of a function indicated by this curve. So we have a point. A, so point A, point B, point, point E, point D, and point G on the, on the curve. So let's take this as point uh, C. So as you can see, so for, for point A, there is a tangent line. For point B, there is also a tangent line here. And for point E, here is the tangent. For point E, this is a tangent. And M, this is also, uh, here is also uh, the tangent line for point M. So for point C, we have uh, the peak, uh, which is point C. We have the horizontal line. And then the trough, which is point D, we have also the horizontal line. So there are tangent line to each of the point on the curve okay and we can also see or visualize the tangent line in relation to uh, to this uh, roller coaster so a tangent line is uh, parallel to the line of sight when uh, to the line of sight of the passenger sitting erect at a wagon, if uh, he he or she is looking uh, uh, ahead. So, for instance, the the passenger is here. So here at the wagon, sitting at this wagon. So the line of sight of a person is here, and this is parallel to the tangent line at this point. So if uh, we consider this wagon and uh, there is a passenger here. That's the line of sight of the passenger is this. And this is parallel to the point on this car. So if we consider this uh, car in a roller coaster. Okay. So uh, let us predict what will happen to the slope of the second line as point Q gets closer and closer to P. So if Sir so Tobera use Desmos and Cart. So we will uh, we will visualize the what will happen to the second line using uh Chibra.
can you see the the application uh yayojipro application okay so if we have point q and point p and this is a second line so what will uh, happen if uh point q approaches point p so let's say we have point uh, q sub one here and let us look at the second line and look also at at the slope or the change in y over change in x so, and if we have another point q sub two closer to point p and if we are going to uh, get the second line, so look at this second line, and then the slope or the value of the slope, the delta y over delta x. So as you can see, the the slope becomes uh, smaller and smaller, or the delta x becomes smaller and smaller. And let's have let's have a point a uh, q sub three. And let's take the, the second line. And this is now our change in x, change in y over change in x. Then for point Q, so as, as you can see, point uh, Q getting closer and closer to point P. And then let's take the tangent line. And then add the segment so that we can visualize the change in y over change in x and then taking point q sub 5 so closer to closer and closer and closer to point p then we have the secant line and this is our slope so as as you can see as point q getting closer and closer to point p look at the second line and if it if we have point q sub six and point q sub seven q sub eight getting closer and closer and closer to point p what will happen to second line of course so the second line becomes tangent tangent line so therefore, uh, this tangent line now is the limiting position of all the secant lines at point P as, as the distance of point Q and point P approaches zero. Okay? So, so let us define now the secant line and tangent line to a curve. Okay, so let's have the definition. So let's see be the graph. So this is the graph, the curve uh, of a continuous function and let Q be uh, on point C. So it is Q. Then a second line, so this second line uh, to the graph through point P. So this point P is any line containing P and another point Q on C. So these are the second line. And then the tangent line now is uh, y equals f of x at p. So this p is the limiting position of all the secant line qp as q approaches p. That's why we have to use the limit to find the slope of the tangent line. So that's why yeah, uh, it is uh, very uh, difficult to uh, to discuss the slope of the tangent line uh, without uh, without the limit. So therefore, again, the slope of the tangent line is the limit of delta y over delta x as delta x approaches zero. So let us derive. Again, the formula for uh, finding the slope of the tangent line using this secant line. And we all know that uh, the tangent line is the limit 
of uh, the slope of the tangent line is the limit as delta x approaches zero. So if we if we have point P whose coordinate is x f of x, and we have uh, if this is x and this is delta x, therefore point Q now is uh, the coordinate of x of point Q is x plus delta x, and then of course. Uh, the coordinate of y is f of x plus delta x. So, so we have uh, delta y. So this is f of delta x. This, this one, f of x plus delta x minus this f of x all over uh, x plus delta x over x. And then if we simplify the denominator, we have f of x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x as delta x approaches zero is the slope of the tangent line. So let us formally define the slope of the tangent line by the slope of the tangent line to the graph of a function f at, po at a given point p x of f of x is given by this formula. Provided that uh, there is a condition here if the limit exists. So if the limit does not exist, maybe the function at that point is discontinuous function. So again, the condition is if the limit exists. So let's take an illustrative example. So find the slope of the tangent line to uh x squared minus one at point two three so if uh sorry to bear use uh desmos uh we will use a uh, geogebra here so but first we have to uh find the slope of the tangent line to the given curve at this given point so let us use the definition so we have uh, our function is x squared minus uh, 1. So we plug in uh, for the x in x plus delta x. So e squared minus 1. So this is f of x plus delta x minus 1. Then minus the original function, which is f of x, and that is x squared minus 1 all over uh, delta x as delta x approaches 0. So we have to square the binomial. So we have uh, x squared plus 2x delta x. So we have shortcut here by using the formula a squared plus 2a plus b squared plus delta x squared minus 1. And then we have here a uh, negative x squared. And then negative times negative 1 is positive 1. So therefore, uh, we have... Uh, wait. So we have uh, so we have x squared here, and this is negative x squared, and then negative one plus one. Then we have two uh, x delta x plus delta x squared, and then if we factor out delta x here. So we have 2x and then uh, delta x here, we have delta x. So we can cancel this, delta x over delta x. So what will happen is uh, the, uh, the slope of the tangent line is the limit of 2x plus delta x as delta x approaches 0. So if we get the limit of this, so... As delta x approaches 0, so this is 0, so we have the slope of the tangent line is 2x. So this is the slope of uh, all the tangent line to the graph of x squared minus 1 in general. At point 2, 3, so we have, uh, so we have 2, our x here is 2, so 2 times 2 equals 4. So the slope of the tangent line at, 
at 2, 3, at point 2, 3 is 4. So let us check using... So let us check using a uh, GeoGebra. Okay. So uh, this is the graph of x squared minus 1. And we want to uh, determine the tangent line at point 2, 3. So here we have point 2, 3. Then uh, we can draw the tangent line to this curve. So this is the tangent line. And let us determine the slope. There. So the slope is 4. Okay, since the slope in general of uh, this curve is 2x, so what about if we have uh, another point on this graph, which is negative 2, 3, and another point on the curve, which is negative 3, 8. So let us try to determine the, the slope of the tangent line to these uh, points. Okay, so this is our first example, point two three. So at point negative two three ha, here. So let's uh, get the slope of the tangent line. So we have a two x, and then using point negative two three, so we have two times negative two. So the slope is negative four. Uh, what about if we have point negative 3, 8? So getting the slope of the tangent line at that point, uh, we have, uh, again, 2x. So we have 2 times negative 3 uh, equals negative 6. So if we will check. So let's have a tangent at point C. So as you can see, this is the line tangent at point C. And the slope is negative 4. And then if we have a tangent line at point negative 3, 8. So this one, so the green one. And let's take the slope. So the slope is negative 6. So our uh, slope is correct. Okay. Okay. So since uh, we have uh, the slope of the tangent line and we have a point on that line, so we can determine uh, the equation of the tangent line. So given the slope, which is 4 and 0.23 on the line. So, equation of the line can be determined using the point uh, or the slope intercept form. So, we can also use the uh, point slope form, but uh, for this presentation, I'm going to use uh, the slope intercept form. So, we have a uh, point at uh, 2, 3. So, uh, this is our Wait. So we have, this is our y and this is our x. So we have 3 and our slope is 4 and uh, multiply by 2. So in x plus b. So 8, uh, 3 equals 8 plus b. Therefore, uh, b is 3 minus 8, so b equals negative 5. And to get the equation, so we simply substitute the slope, which is 4, and the y-intercept at this y equals mx plus b. So the equation is uh, 4x minus 5. Then similarly, uh, we can uh, determine the equation of the normal. So by uh, getting the information from the from the slope of the tangent line 
So if we say normal line, uh, we have uh, this is the line perpendicular uh, to the tangent line at particular uh, point. So if the slope of our tangent line is 4, so the negative reciprocal of this slope is the slope of our normal line. So if the slope is 4, the negative reciprocal is negative 1 fourth and it is passing through 0.23. So, using again the uh, slope intercept form, we have to plug in the x and y and the slope. So, 3 equals negative 1 fourth yung slope and uh, x is 2 plus b. So, we have 3 equals negative 1 half plus b. So, we have 3 plus 1 half and that is a 7 over 2. So, the equation... But, uh, by substituting the slope of the tangent line, negative one-fourth, and our y-intercept at our equal, uh, uh, formula of, uh, or the slope of slope-intercept form, so we have the equation uh, y equals neg negative one-fourth x plus 7 over 2. So let's have example number two, but this time, so we have the square root function, which is 3x plus 5. And we're going to find the slope of uh, the line tangent to this graph at 1 is square root of 8. So if we plug in 1 here, so we have square root of 8 is our y. So by using the, the definition again, so we have square root of f of x plus delta So x plus so x three is square root of three. Uh, we have here x plus delta x plus five minus the f of x. Our f of x is three x plus five over delta x. Then. We have to uh, rationalize the numerator by multiplying it by its conjugate as well as the denominator. Uh, we have this one and then so we have here square root of 3 uh, quantity x plus delta x plus 5 and this is minus and this is plus. So we have now square root of 3. Uh, multiply by x plus delta x plus 5 is squared. So we can cancel this uh, square root because we have a squared here. So what will happen? So we have the 3 times x plus delta x plus 5 minus 3x plus 5. And then if we multiply the denominator. So, delta x multiply by this one. Then, so let us uh, simplify the equation. So, by distributive property, we have 3x plus 3 delta x plus 5 minus 3x minus 5. So we have a 3x here, minus 3x, and then plus 5, minus 5. So the remaining equation is 3 delta x, all over delta x times uh, square root of 3, times x plus delta x plus 5, plus square root of 3x plus 5. So we can cancel delta x. So it becomes 3 all over our denominator. And we will get the limit as delta x approaches 0. So this delta x is 0. So we have 3 over uh, 3x. Uh, x plus 0 is x. So we have 3x plus 5 here. And then plus 3x plus 5. As you can see, 
uh, we have 3 all over square root of 3x plus 5 plus square root of 3x plus 5. So we have So we have a 3 all over 2 times square root of 3x plus 5. At 1, 8 or at point 0.1 square root of 8, we have to plug in 1 for our x. So we have 3 times 1 is 3 plus 5. So that is uh, 3 all over 2 times square root of 8. And if uh, we simplify this, we have 3 all over 4 square root of 2. And that is approximately uh, 0.53. So if we if we have to check, so let's let check. Let us check using KeyoGebra. There. So this is the graph of square root of 3x plus 5. And then at point uh, 1, so let's, let's have the point. So, so we have name and value. So this is one, uh, one is square root of eight, and that is two point eighty three. So this is our point, and if we draw the tangent to this this point, or the tangent line to this point, so we have here the tangent line, and if we get the slope, so that is zero point uh, fifty three. Okay. And then the, uh, the example number three is different from the other two. It says show the ta that the tangent line to f of x, which is equal to 2x squared minus 12x plus 1 at point 3, negative 17 is horizontal. So we all know that uh, if uh, the line is horizontal, uh, the slope must be equal to, to zero. So let we have to show that the slope is zero. So, and to find the slope, of course, we have to use the definition again, and then use the same procedure for uh, having x plus delta x to our x here. So two times x squared, uh, x plus delta x squared rather minus 12, times x plus delta x plus 1 minus the original function, which is equal to f of x all, all over delta x. Then uh, we have to, uh, again, square the, uh, the binomial and multiply by 2. So we have this one. And then this is uh, minus 12x and minus 12 delta x plus 1. And then this is minus 2x squared, negative, negative, that is 12, positive 12x, and then negative 1. And then we have, so we have uh, positive 2x squared here, negative 2x squared, and then we have negative 12x, positive 12x, positive 1, negative 1. So the remaining equation is a 4x, 4x delta x plus 2 delta x squared minus uh, 12 delta x as the del, uh, over delta x as delta x approaches 0. So uh, we have to uh, Divide this by delta x, so it becomes 4x, and this uh, 2 delta x, and then this is negative 12, since uh, we divide the, the three terms uh, by delta x. So, and if we get the limit of this uh, 
4x plus 2x, 2 delta x minus 12 as delta x approaches 0. So it becomes 0. So the slope of the tangent line is 4x minus 12. So at point 3, negative 17, so we have to plug in 3 here. So 4 times 3 is 12, then minus 12. So we have the slope of the tangent line is 0. And this means that the line is horizontal. So again, let us check. So let's have 2x squared minus uh, 12x plus 1. This is our function. And uh, we have point negative 317. As you can see, this is the point negative 317. And if we draw the tangent line uh, at this point, so we have the horizontal line. And again, the slope of this line is 0. And the equation of this line is y equals negative 17. Now, so let's take a look at the definition of derivative of a function. So the derivative of a function with respect to x is the function f prime of x defined by this definition. So look at this. We have the limit of f of x plus delta x minus f of x as delta x approaches uh, over delta x as delta x approaches zero. So what have you observed? So this is also the slope of the tangent line to the curve at point at a given point, right? So if you are getting the slope of the tangent line to the curve, you are also getting the derivative of the function with respect to x. And this this symbol f prime of x means this uh, it means the slope of the tangent line at x is equal to a, whatever the a is on the curve, provided that the domain of f, of f prime is the set of all x for which the limit exists. Again, the limit exists. Okay? So if we have a problem like this, so if f of x equals 1 over 2x, find f of prime of uh, f prime of negative 3 so this problem also means that you have to find the slope of the tangent line at x equals negative 3 so see so the the slope of the tangent line and the derivative of the function so let us solve this one so using the definition, since the definition, uh, since the definition of derivative is uh, the same as the slope of the tangent line to the curve, so the same procedure that we are going to use, uh, one over two uh, x, but our x is x plus delta x minus a uh, one over two x all over delta x as delta x approaches zero, so we have uh, x minus quantity x plus delta x times 2 times x plus delta x times x over delta x. And simplifying this expression, we have negative delta x all over 2 times x plus delta x times x all over delta x as delta x approaches 0. So uh, for the continuation, so we have We have negative delta x all over delta x times 2x plus x plus delta x. So we cancel this one. 
So the remaining expression now is negative 1 all over 2x times x plus delta x. But getting the limit as delta x approaches 0, so this delta x is 0, so we have negative 1 times 2x and we have negative 1 all over 2x squared. And then plugging in, uh, f of negative 3 is negative 1 all over 2 times negative 3 squared. So that is th negative 3 squared is 9 times 2. So we have negative 1 over 18. So let us check uh, here. So using uh, GeoGebra. So we have here, so 3. 3, uh, negative 1 over 6, this one. And then the slope is uh, negative 0 0.06 and this is equal to negative 1 over 18. Okay, so if you have no question, so again, we have uh, the slope of the tangent line. So if you have no question, we have uh, a short uh, evaluation or assessment by a simple game. So I hope that uh, it, this game will uh, work. So to all the, uh, the participants, so please participate in this uh, assessment. So this is a simple uh, assessment only. Uh, no, no need to uh, to solve for uh, a problem which has a long solution. So use any device. Uh, to open joinmyquiz.com and uh, enter the code 872621. So again, to our participants, Can you see the uh, the quizzes platform? Okay, we have uh, one Hello, participant. So yeah, we Hello. have. Hello, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yeah, allow allow some time for to connection. Actually, lots of participant wants to participate in quiz competition. So allow some time. Okay, so we have. Already nine participants. Okay, no problem. Just uh, uh, show the show the link and code, then they can they can join. We will we'll just wait for five minutes more. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, because after this quiz competition, we will issue a quiz competition certificate for first, second, and third. Okay. Thank you, sir. So uh, the winner in this uh, quiz or in this competition will receive uh, a certificate. So we have 27, 28. Let's wait for other, other participants to join. Those who are saying that they are, it's so difficult, it's a request 
just go, go to the google and browse join my quiz dot com yes yes it's so easy so easy anyone can join anyone can join yeah it's around fifty seven participants fifty eight now after two minutes we will go for the quiz completion okay ma'am yes sir. Dear participants, you don't need to install these apps. You have to just browse in Google, joinmyquiz.com. Nothing more. You don't need to install anything. Just go to the Google and type a browse, joinmyquiz.com. Not still not started. Yes. Last one minute for last one minute we will. Last after one minute yes. we will start. Okay, sir. So you can still join uh, the quiz. It's still ninety eight. Yes, sir. Hello, ma'am. Let's start. Can start. Okay, yeah, let's yeah. start. Yeah, ma'am. Thank you. 
ओके टू अनाउंस द नेम ऑफ फर्स्ट सेकंड थर्ड सो यू हैव टू हेल्प मी दैट हु इज फर्स्ट सेकंड एंड थर्ड आई नीड देयर इंफॉर्मेशन हेलो Okay, we have to end up the game. Okay, we have a uh, winners. Sir A D A A D H P three and Sir E Y Y. So kindly email your uh, real name. Those three, those three, first, second, third. Uh, actually, yes. your name is that your nickname, maybe. So uh, share you uh, those three. Please contact it within our Facebook page inbox. then we can issue your quiz completion certificate so no more cheating only those three first <laughs> second third only those three you can contact with us directly into our facebook page inbox we will issue a certificate after some while please don't don't cheat with us okay yeah so congratulations to the first second and a uh, third So to end this that session, so I always remember that the best way to learn math is to do math. So thank you very much. This is amazing, ma'am. I enjoyed the game also, and. <laughs> I think I hope you all your presentation will be helpful enough to the uh, audience because you share your intelligible knowledge about uh, calculus, uh, tangent line, slope, equation, etc. <laughs> so thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you for. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, dear ma'am and dear sir, for your valuable time and total inspiration project. Our total inspiration is piece about calculus. I think uh, all of our audience or participants get more from you. So it's time for actually say goodbye, but not for now. Not uh, only for now, not for li lifetime. I hope to see you again in our next session or next any other session with any other topics. so uh till then
Bye. And before Bye. Bye, again, thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, bye. Thank you, ma'am, for your time. It's early morning in US, United States, and it's late night in Philippines. Yes. <laughs> it's already we are in, nine. We are in middle. We are in middle time. <laughs> it's at the evening time. Okay, it's time for certification. It's the same process for always. For today's certificate, you have to browse. You have to browse or uh, in Google, www.eduigp.com, and you can find the today's session. And for today's session, you don't need to uh, need any code. And just browse. And if you are new in our website, then you have to create an account. If you have, then you can log in directly. And you can verify your certificate from any time, anywhere. And today's winner, actually, a lifetime membership certificate for Dr. Suresh Kumar Agarwal. This is the certificate for Mr. Dr. Suresh Kumar Agarwal, who achieved lifetime certi membership certificate from IGP. Our next webinar will be held on 13th April 2021 at the same time. The topic research and aesthetics is the easy way. Hope to see you all in the next session. And one thing is that I already uh, pinned the certification link in the comment box. And uh, last one thing I have to share it in also comment box. I already shared it in comment section, so you can also find them find from comment section. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. See you again. Participants. If you feel that this webinar will actually helps you, so it's a request, it's a uh, cordial request. Please uh, leave a review in our Facebook page and recommend the page into your community. So it's a request on behalf of IGP. If you feel that this webinar actually helps you or uh, in your professional or personal life, in academic life also, so please uh, leave a review in our Facebook page review section and recommend the page into your community for certification i already told that i already shared the certification link into comment section and i pinned the po link post into comment section and if the link is not working no problem because you are outside from the uh, you are seeing the outside from the live so you can visit google at www.eduigp.com and you can see at the top session teaching pre-calculus just click on the uh, topics and you will find the option for enrollment if you are new then you have to visit you have to uh, you have to uh, create your new account or if you have already then you have to log in directly just click on enroll and after that Click on get your certificate. And uh, someone already asked that, Muzika, if I'm not wrong, how to download the certificates? It's auto downloadable. So check your file manager and down, uh, browser download tab. It's auto downloadable. You don't need to download it manually. It's auto downloadable. Check your file manager. Check your file manager or check your uh, browser file, browser download tab. It's auto downloadable. Thank you so much. Our next webinar will be held on 13th April at the same time. The topics, research and statistics, the easy way. Hope to see you there again and again. Thank you, sir. And thank you, ma'am. Uh, Shoman, may I ask how many viewers? It's uh, Now it's around 250. But before that, it's around 350, near about 400. The highest is near about 400. Oh, okay. I saw I saw that last one, uh, 390, uh, 385, 7 last. 
Mm. Mm. Thank you so much.